All right, so we've printed our stencil for our growth chart, and um, I really did not want to waste vinyls, so I have this um, stencil. It looks a little, little crazy, so just bear with me. I just wanted to save as much vinyl as I could, so I kind of scrapped all this together, so, but... It doesn't really all need to be perfect or in one piece because um, uh, because I'm gonna be putting it on piece by piece anyways. So I'm just gonna start weeding this. So this page I think is Cricut vinyl, and the other page is um, six five one. I it doesn't matter which one you use. This, or, sorry, this isn't six five one. This is um, six three one. So it's like re it's removable. This is also removable. Um, and I like both equally. I just didn't have enough of this to finish, so I grabbed my Cricut uh, vinyl. So I'm just going to weed out my stencil. So this is half of our stencils. So I can move over there. And then this is the other half. Um, I don't really know where to start with this one. First I'll just trim some of this so I can see some of this vinyl. And again, as always, this is not the end-all be-all way to do this. This is just how I did it. And I literally just figured out a way to do this. So there could definitely be a better way. So let's one more line here. All right, so now we have our stencils. So now I'm gonna move over to the living room and show you guys how I'm going to apply this. All right, so we're ready to apply our stencil. So you can see I've just separated all of these out. So I have the name, the first foot, second foot, third foot, and then the fourth foot. But before I actually um, put these on, I just want to take my measuring tape and just mark one foot, two foot, three feet, and four feet, just so I know and make sure that this is as to scale as possible. Um, so I'm just using a pencil. I stole this from Joe's Art Supplies. So, um, so I'm just going to make some hash marks on one foot and then at two feet. And then at three feet and four feet, just so I can see where I'm placing these and making sure that it's relatively to scale as possible. Um, and then we can start applying our stencil. Okay, so we have our hash marks. So I know where one foot is, where two fit feet is, three feet and four feet. So first I'm going to start just and just kind of like lay these out and just make sure that it's all gonna fit because I can't tell you how many times I have laid out stencils without making sure that it all fit first and then I end up with not enough room or something and that's really frustrating. So I'm just gonna lay these out just to see, make sure it's all gonna fit. Okay, so now we know that everything is going to fit, so now we can start applying our stencil. So I'm going to just use this roll of transfer tape here. I believe this is um, Oracle transfer tape. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I got this humongous roll off of Amazon. It's my favorite, pretty much my favorite transfer tape. I need to go get my scraper. Okay. 
so I got the squeegee. So now I'm just going to lay this over. And I'm just doing like a rough cut. This. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to peel this off and apply it to my vinyl, my stencil. So I'm just going to peel my stencil. Okay, so now this is the moment of truth. So we want to make sure that this one is lined up to this hash mark. Um, and also I'm going to make sure that the edges of the lines or the edge of the vinyl is touching the edge of the wood. Because the last time I did this, um, I realized I didn't really line up my wood all that. The, the I didn't line up my vinyl to the edge of the wood. And so some of the lines are a little a little bit crooked. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna squeegee this down. My wood kind of like bowed a little bit, it's weird. So squeegee. Okay, so now we can peel off our stencil. All right. So we have our fir first foot done. So now we can do our second one. And I'm gonna try and just reuse this um, piece of transfer tape so I don't have to waste, waste it. You can, this transfer tape is good. You can get a, a couple uses out of it um, if you're just you know, adhering vinyl, it's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to take off the stencil. Just... All right, so this too like broke right here. So I'm just gonna take a little scrap piece of vinyl that I have and I'm just gonna put it right there just to make sure that doesn't bleed or anything. All right, so now I'll take our transfer tape off. All right, so now we're gonna do our third foot. Okay, so for my painting, I'm gonna be using this Craft Smart paint I got at Michael's. Um, I'm gonna be doing gray and pink for the numbers, but I'm gonna add a little bit of red to this pink so it's not so light. Um, and then I'm gonna do the hash marks white. Um, so I'll show you what paint I'll use for that. And then I'm also gonna do the name white. So let's get to painting. And for the brushes, I'm just using these little spongy foam brushes. I think I got these at Home Depot, actually. Um, but you can use whatever brush that you want. And I'm not Mod Podging this either. So just thought I should make that note. I'm not Mod Podging this because every time I Mod Podge, um, it doesn't work for me at all. So I'm just going to be just applying the paint directly to the wood. But if you like to Mod Podge and it works for you, go for it. Uh, it's just never really panned out for me. So just FYI. All right. And just so you guys know, before I start, I took this two off and I'm going to reapply it because it was not even with these numbers. It was like a half, like half an inch, a little less than half an inch off. And it was driving me nuts. So I'm going to reapply that in just a second. So, but first I'll just get to painting. So I'll do this gray. Uh, I think I'll start off with the gray down here. So I'm just doing some light strokes for the one. And 
And then I'm going to use this Artist Loft white paint for the hash marks. So I'm going to do this kind of like chunk by chunk. Um, just so I don't have, the paint doesn't get too dry. So again, I'm just using a little bit of paint at first. And I'm just going to do these hash marks. And just make sure, just be careful you don't, you know, accidentally get it on the wood that's not part of your stencil. Um, but even if you do bleed on the wood a little bit, you can always just go back with some stain and touch it up or scrape it off or all is not doomed. So by the time I'm done with this white, I could probably go back with another coat on that gray number. So I'm just kind of brushing this on. All right, so now I can go back with another coat of gray. So now I'm gonna go back with just a little bit of a heavier coat. And actually I can start doing these hash marks up here too a little bit. Even though I'm gonna I'm gonna put that two back, I can at least get the hash marks done. All right, so um, for pulling these off, I like to start with the number first. So just lift up the number first, and again the paint is still pretty wet, so I'm doing a wet peel for this. And I can go back and get anything that's not going to come up right away. All right, so we have our first foot done. Looks so cute. So now we, oops, uh, wait on that. So now I can go back and work on these hash marks here. This is going to be for our second foot that we'll add our two in just a second. Okay, so for the three, we're also going to make that gray. So I'm just putting a little bit of gray on my brush to start. And I'm just going to kind of brush it in there. All right. All right, we'll do one more little coat for the of gray here. All right, so now I'm gonna peel this one first because it's overlapping on this one, which is just how my stencil ended up working, but yours could be different. So peel this however you want. Okay. And just be careful when you're peeling because you're gonna start to get uh, if you're like me, you're going to start to get um, paint on your hands. So you just want to be careful if you're going to be touching the wood so you don't want to get any smudges, paint smudges on the wood itself. Okay, so the next... Alright, so we're going to just finish up by doing the four and her name. So for the four, that's going to be that pink color. And the two will also be pink. And actually, I might not add any red to that. Because I, I think I might like this pink how it is, actually. Let's see what it looks like on here. Oops. Is that like pink to you guys or white? It's pretty, pretty dang light, honestly. All right, 
So now we're going to do these hash marks. Jesus Christ. All right, so while I'm using the white brush, I'm going to come up here and do the name. I'm just going to do a light coat at first. And I'm just doing like a downward brushing kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to start peeling off the name stencil. See, I really don't think you need Mod Podge unless for some reason you really like it because look, the lines are so crispy. Like, I really think Mod Podge is not super necessary as long as you're being careful with your stencils and not using too much paint. All right, now I really need my weeding tool. All right, so I'm just gonna weed out these letters. All right, so now we can start peeling our four, fourth foot. Oh my God, I got, I'm getting paint all over my fingers. All right, so now I'm just gonna go back and put my two on there and then we'll be done. All right, so I'm going to put my two back on. I just, all right, so I cut a new number and I'm just going to put it on back onto my wood. I just, the, other one I had just was not doing it for me. Okay, I have my two back on. So now I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna go do this pink paint and, oops, I get caught a little ripped right there. So now I'm just going to take off my stencil. That fucking blood everywhere. All right, so now you have your cute little growth chart. So cute. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you subscribe and like this video and follow me on Instagram and happy crafting.